Today we woke up with the air raid siren blasting in Laura's phone. And uh, so we, our plan was to go to Vinitsa, but we decided not to since there were a few missiles in the sky. And we found out later that they were dropping on Vinitsa. So we decided not to go. It was a good thing, I think. But now here we are in the afternoon. The all clear has been sounded. So we're going to make our trip to Vinitsa and maybe we'll see something that was bombed. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, one of the things that I read on the Ukrainian sites that I follow is that there were several volleys or groupings of rockets that were sent out to several different areas. Um, and one of them was our area. And I also read that the air defense of our area was working really well as in Kiev. So we'll probably read throughout the day as to what the results were. Um, but when we got the all clear a little bit earlier, uh, we kind of talked about it, got the guys lunch, and then we decided to go ahead and head into the city and try and take care of at least some of the business that we needed to get done in there. So that's what's happening. And in the process this morning, we started getting snow. Yes. Big fluffy flakes, you know. Yeah, it's not sticking very well, though. Um, on Tuesday, we brought home three new clients, so we're up to four, um, and so we've been training them a lot. Um, I'm still trying to catch up on a lot of our posts, um, and it's kind of difficult because of the um, outages. Just because we have electricity doesn't mean that we have internet, because wherever the internet provider is, or the cell phone provider, if they have no electricity, that means that we have no access. So for example, today we had electricity for a couple hours, but there was no internet and no cell phone. Now somebody else was able to call me, but I wasn't able to call out. The, the best time is at night. We have good electricity and apparently the provider also has electricity. So we get a good signal <coughs> after midnight. Yeah. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, yeah. So we got to make sure that we get all the lights turned off and those kind of things. But um, Ukraine is a paradox. Yeah. So we've just been working through it, just like our volunteers. Um, sometimes they follow the schedule, sometimes not. When it's warmer, they tend to give us a little bit more electricity throughout the, the day and sometimes, especially during the night. But as we are coming into a colder season now, um, we'll be, it'll be interesting to see what exactly they do. But just so you know, we are safe. Um, we are not afraid, but we are being wise in our decisions. And we just thank you for all the prayers for us, for our new men. Our new men are Pasha, Leonid, and Sergei. And of course, we still have Dima. And then praying for the Ukrainian people. So thank you very much, and um, you guys have a good day.